hello everyone good to be here again and thank you so much for always being here just as uh, we give you latest trending exciting and reliable happenings in nigeria and more and guess what apc leader ahmed tenubu is losing again and uh, this time around his candidate for the for the ondo election has been disqualified oh my god this is so bad because it seems every Thing is just falling apart for the APC leader and uh, you know he's feeling bad it looks like he's, he's losing his grips on some of the things he actually had hold on earlier but all this will bring details to you but you really have to listen to this because it is very very interesting okay guys before then if you haven't subscribed please ensure you hit the subscribe button immediately and also give this video a thumbs up don't forget to turn on the notification bell and you know how we do it here and if you don't know this is saffron media we give you trending exciting reliable and authentic happenings in nigeria especially in the area of politics and more okay let us dive right into the details of this happening it says the embattled national leader of the all progressive congress ahmed tinubu has been hit with another bad news as his preferred candidate for ondo gubernatorial election was disqualified by the party's screening committee screening committee led by tijanu tumsa has disqualified one of the aspirants of the platform of the all progressive congress apc for the undo state governorship election but the identity wasn't revealed we gather that the identity of the disqualified candidate was shegun abraham believed to be a loyalist of asiwa jubola hamed tinubu the 12 aspirants who participated in the screening exercise were incumbent governor rotimi akerodolu joseph olushala iji idimayo okunjimi olayide uwolabi Adelami Ami Isaac Dwerimi Kekemeke Kekemeke Olushola Oke Alex Ife Oluwa Olushola Oyedele Olajumoke Olubusola Anifowoshe Awode Yi Akinshe Akinshe Inwa Akionlu Collins Olubukola Adetula Dr. Abraham Olushegu Michael and Dr. Nathaniel Adoju Telegon Tijak said that Tijani said that the all that the 12 aspirants were screened based on their presentations, educational qualification, and only one out of the 11 failed to meet up with the requirements set by the party. Of the 12 aspirants, 11 is fit for the election. The committee has deemed it possible to qualify 11 of the aspirant to contest for the primary we understand of course that the 12th aspirant has the option of appealing the decision of the committee he said we commenced the screening exercise two days ago there were 12 aspirants in all and i am glad to report that they all showed up for the exercise and we were able to conduct the screening within the two days stipulated time with Tinubu's choice gone, the sky is now clear for Rotimi Akerodolu to contest for the second term. First, it was his right-hand man, Adams Oshomole, who was removed from his position and now Shegun Abraham. It appears there is more trouble ahead for Jagaban, that is Ahmed Tinubu. Well, Tinubu has uh, actually been uh, through a lot lately from the presidential area and now he's losing all its candidates and uh, you know those are the little little things he uses to hold his side because he believes that as the leader of the APC once he has a candidate the candidate must enter but you know things are fast changing and that is exactly what has happened to uh, Bolaji Ahmed Tinubu and right here a columnist has predicted that Ahmed Tinubu's uh, 2020 three presidential ambition will be dashed he also wrote about it the political coalition between muhammad buhari cpc and bola metinubu acn has all but collapsed he said there was nothing even remotely surprising about it in previous columns media interviews and social media updates i predicted that this would happen for example in my june 23 2018 column titled buhari's june 12 pairing and naivety Nai na Naivety, naivety of Yoruba elites. I wrote, Buhari may well get a second term with the help of votes from the Southwest, but one thing is as certain as tomorrow's date. He will spectacularly fall out with the Yoruba elite 
whose support is bending over backward to court now. He'll no longer have a need for them after 2019 and, and might even remember that they betrayed him in 2011. These same people would then turn against not just Buhari but the entire North. If we're, if we're alive till then, would remind them that they are complicit in their own fate. An Italian proverb says, when a man deceives me once, it is his fault. When twice, it is mine. In January 26, 2019, column titled, Bola Tinubu's Costly 2023 Political Gamble. I wrote the following. Among other things that have come to pass, Tinubu is going into another alliance with Buhari in hopes that Buhari and his supporters will reward him with a presidential ticket in 2023. That's a cost, costly miscalculation for a whole host of reasons. I am familiar enough with members of Buhari's inner circle to know that they deeply dis despise Tenubu. They snigger at his presidential um, ambition and are amused by his expectation that they would support him. Tenubu himself knows this. That, that's why I am shocked that he appears irresistibly and dangerously drowned to people who will throw him like he is not after the february election maybe he is gripped by the sort of deathly attraction that caused a moth to embrace a flame during a tv appearance on television continental on february 2018 tinubu's wife remy said tinubu was trashed by buhari's northern political machine after the 2015 election people who trashed you after an electoral triumph to which your central will certainly go the whole hog and incinerate or bury you in the aftermath of another victory that will ensure that they will no longer need you apart from the certain betrayal that will surely come from the buhari camp in the event that tinubu helps them to win or rig the 2019 election a tinubu presidential candidacy will be beset by a lot of problems given the heightened sensitivity of religion in nigeria now which is made even worse so by buhari's unexampled in your in your face bigotry Tinubu would be required to have a Northern Christian as a running mate to earn the support of the South and a Christian North that would, however, automatically alienate Buhari's Northern Muslim supporters, so his ambition is dead before it's even born. Most importantly, though, as Tinubu himself knows only too well, a vote for APC in the coming presidential election won't be a vote for Buhari, it would be a vote, a vote for an evil, greedy, corrupt provincial and reactionary cabal and their minions who are currently perpetrating a, tra a trastrophic theft of the nation's resources in ways that would make an angel of a butcher. Pres President Buhari is an insentient human vegetable who is barely aware of his own existence. In a September 21, 2019 column titled, Why Bola? Tinubu can never be Nigeria's president. I pointed out that before the 2019 election, a friend of mine who is close to Abba Kiari confided in me that after the election, they would deal with Tinubu and his people. He bragged that by the time they are done with him and his underlinings, he would be so damaged that he won't even be an option for the 2023 presidency. It's already starting. In a September 22, 2019 social media status updated titled Tinobo's Dangerous Dance with the Cabal, I wrote. So obviously, guys, you can see the people who are actually prop Buhari in power don't want Tinobo or anyone outside their pre modial constituency to succeed them and uh, you know that has been the case of uh, Tinubu. So there are so many predictions that Tinubu uh, 2023 ambition is not likely to materialize and of course uh, so many things have gone wrong his food soldiers have been cleared out of the way what can he do now you know they used to call him the jagaban is he still the jagaban or what is happening to him well that is the question i would leave for everyone so guys if you have any question you have reservations if you have comments please endeavor to drop it in the comment section we'll be waiting and willing to hear from you thank you so much for always being here you guys are simply the best and i appreciate you and also don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up do have a pleasant time bye for now